Today's a weird day for hockey because there literally is only one game being played. It's Winnipeg and Montreal, and we have ourselves, what is it, 14, 15 games being played tomorrow in the NHL? They don't want to compete with the NBA, I guess, so they're scheduling everything for tomorrow and leaving just the one measly Habs and Jets game on for today's selection of National Hockey League action. But either way... This is kind of funny because the Winnipeg Jets actually did play yesterday as well. They suited up against the Ottawa Senators in what was a 4-3 Winnipeg win. One of the players that played in this Sens and Jets game was none other than Jimmy Stu himself. Tim Stutzla returning off of an injury that he suffered the other day in the game against the Montreal Canadiens. This was a significant game because this was the game where Brendan Gallagher was obliged, I guess, to make the comments that he did about Jimmy Stu. Now, we made a video talking about the entire situation, talking about Stutzla and his reputation. We talked about the Gallagher comments, and I just want to reiterate before we really dive into what Stutzla had to say in response to Gallagher, what my overall conclusion was in that previous video. Now, if you watched the video, I made it very clear several times that several things can be true at once. Yes, does Tim Stutzla have somewhat of a reputation for aggravating how hurt he may be in certain situations in hockey games, aka diving, aka embellishment? I'm not going to necessarily say no. Apparently, this was a thing that had brought itself up in previous conversations throughout the past few years, so I don't want to make it seem like he is a complete saint out there. However, was the Nick Suzuki thing an example of that to a T? I went out there and said, no, I do feel like Stutzla had legitimate reason to get hurt by the Suzuki knee on knee, and there was very legitimate consequences to that because he was removed for the next few days. He wasn't able to play. So by the very nature of him not being able to suit up, you could understand, okay, there probably was some significant injury that held him out of the lineup. However, several things can be true at the same time. Does this mean that Tim Stutzla was in the right, or let's say probably in the best position available to get hurt by Suzuki, draw the tripping penalty or the knee on knee kneeing penalty, and then go out on the power play the very next shift after spending an extended amount of time down on the ice. Hey, I mean, there are some moments in sports where you get hurt for a split second, it hurts like hell for a little bit, and then all of a sudden, maybe 20 seconds later, like, oh, okay, I'm fine, I can go out there and play again. But you're in the midst of an adrenaline rush, you're in the middle of your muscles being exercised to their full capacity. Once you settle down, and once you take all the gear off, if you lay on the couch for an extended amount of time, you go to bed and you wake up the next morning, your body goes through some pretty interesting processes when it comes to choosing when and where to act up. And so I can understand if Tim Stutzla might have actually felt okay after the knee on knee, to play on the power play, go out there, play another period after that, and maybe just the next morning, that's when he really felt, oh crap, now my knee is really acting up. And so, for Brendan Gallagher, I can understand, again, why he was ticked off, that Stutzla was down on the ice and that he did take some extra time to come up, only to play on the next shift. And his justification saying, yeah, you know, I had a rule when I was a kid saying that if you're down and the trainer has to get you, you're too hurt to play. You can't play for minimum of three shifts. And just coming from that perspective, I can understand why he was frustrated. And then we had the comments that proceeded afterwards. Oh, he's embarrassing, yada, yada, yada. He's a talented player, but he's got to stop, etc. Well, Tim Stutzel made his return to the lineup yesterday against Winnipeg and... Needless to say, he looked great. He looked like Tim Stutzla. He looked like the Jimmy Stu that Senators fans are familiar with. And for the most part, they couldn't be happier to see that be the case. He also had himself a media availability interview where Stutzla responded to Brendan Gallagher and the comments that were made about him. You want to talk about Brendan Gallagher saying, okay, there are kids watching, we're role models, we have to be the best versions of ourselves so that the kids watching us know what to be like. When it comes to that aspect of Brendan Gallagher's comments, I really do think that Stutzla and the way that he responded was 
kind of the best thing he could have done, especially as a role model for the kids. You know, you see him playing with the neighborhood street hockey kids all the time, right? Him and Brady are doing their thing just on the side of the road there. It's pretty good. This is what Stutzla said in response to Brendan Gallagher. Everyone has their own opinion. They can say what they want. I have my own opinion too, but in the end, I respect him as a player. He's a veteran. That's all I'm gonna say about it. And I think this perspective from Ian Mendez really highlights it. I really liked Tim Stutzel's maturity and professionalism on the podium tonight. He also pointed out that Nick Suzuki apologized to him during the game for the knee-on-knee -knee hit. And when asked about Gallagher, he just took the high road. This is probably the best thing he could have done. As a role model, as somebody whom the kids look up to, what are kids going to do when they see this? They're not going to look at Jay Beagle and say, oh, look at that. He's frustrated and he's pissed off. He's going to go after the guy that did him wrong and he's going to pound him into the ice. No, they're going to say, OK, well, he's not taking it to heart. He's feeling the comments that Gallagher had towards him and he's not going to stir up some more stuff in the media. He's just going to let it die down. He's going to take the high road. He's going to take the L from Gallagher's comments and just move on because he does not need to prove that he is above that. And I like that a lot. I guess I might be a bit more sympathetic towards that because I am in a position where I can understand what it's like when you're getting publicly criticized or tarnished by people in the media or elsewhere online because, you know, public presence, etc., etc., right? So... It's a great move when you're able to see somebody who is in the spotlight like that be able to deflect whatever controversies in such an elegant way like Stutzla did. Not gonna go out there and say, no, I'm not a diver, I don't embellish. Not gonna go out there and say that Gallagher is wrong. He's just gonna say that he respects his opinion, but he has his own, and he's just gonna leave it at that. And so, we refer back to the original point of the video that I made initially. Several things can be true at the same time. Does Stutzla have a reputation for diving? He might. And Gallagher talking about it, the TSN broadcast talking about it on the game, might go out there and prove that. So, is Suzuki a dirty player because of it? No, he isn't, and he never was. He also apologized to Stutzla because he knew it was wrong. When you get that apology from the guy on the ice in real time, it's like, okay, he's admitting that there was some kind of foul here that probably should have warranted a penalty. When the guy goes out there and says, sorry, man, I didn't mean to do that, there is no reason to continue the beef or continue stirring up the pot, right? So, Suzuki, not a dirty player. Stutzla said he apologized. Gallagher, while I could understand his perspective when he says that Stutzla is just diving around because he gets helped by the trainer, he stays down for a while, and then he plays in the next power play, Stutzla was, at the end of the day, not able to compete in the next few days. So, there you go. I guess the medical diagnosis disagrees with what Brendan Gallagher was saying. And I want to say one more thing as well before we end off this video. When it comes to Gallagher being Gallagher, I saw this video popping around after Gallagher made his comments. It was an alleged video of him diving around. Oh, because Gallagher is the perfect player, right? And it had a whole bunch of retweets and a whole bunch of likes on Twitter. And I watched the video of Gallagher, you know, going around there being a pest like he does and then taking some falls here and there. I came away from that video thinking that Gallagher didn't really dive in any of them. Like, the point that the poster of that video was trying to make was, oh, who is Gallagher to criticize Tim Stutzla for diving when he is a diver himself? And I think a lot of Canadians fans can say that Gallagher doesn't really do that. Here's Eric Engels and his response on the matter. Lots of responses to the original Gallagher comments were pretty hilarious. I get that Sens fans don't like it, and people can say many things about Gallagher and his style of play, but saying this is a pot kettle statement does not hold up. Gallagher has made his entire career just playing through abuse. And so, while several things can be true at the same time, I definitely don't think that Gallagher being a hypocrite by calling out Stutzla for diving is one of them. So, let me know in the comments all your thoughts about Tim Stutzla and his response to the Gallagher situation. The Canadians are playing the Jets today. The Jets got some action with the Ottawa Senators yesterday. We have ourselves literally just this one NHL game on today before getting a slew of action tomorrow because the league does not want to compete with the National Basketball Association. So, let me know in the comments Comments on your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this British Royal Troll 99. Sens fans, have I changed your mind on this? I mean, based off of the comments of the last video, I don't really think anybody's minds are even prone to being changed, but hey, I just thought I'd throw it out there. 
and bye.